about leadership styles, though? Are there distinct leadership styles, even if you're choosing one at a given time or situation? Well, there are a couple of styles that are better to have in your long-run toolkit than others. Um, so if you were to look across a set of styles that are regularly used across situations, what I, I would argue that all leaders to ha need to have some substantial capability on is being a visionary. And I know that's a very overused term, but what I mean by that is setting the context for other people mm -hmm. so they can make good decisions, judgment calls, and trade-offs on a moment-to-moment -moment basis without having to ask someone every time. And that's when you get groups firing on all cylinders. That's when people understand the strategic priorities within their team or within their organization. That's when people are inspired to step up. If they understand how the work that they do connects to the larger objectives of the organization, people are much, likely, much more likely to make good decisions and more likely to be inspired about those decisions as they work. What about other styles? I know I've, I've heard you speak about there's coercive, there's uh, affiliative, or different. What about the other styles? When are they appropriate? Well, once again, there, there is a broad set of styles, each of which is particularly useful in some situations and less useful in other situations. So, for example, a coercive style is useful in a true emergency situation. But if you overuse the coercive style, meaning that you make all the decisions as the leader and you retain decision rights and you simply tell people what to do, over the longer run, people are going to start becoming reliant on your decisions. And you've really just made your job bigger because people are not thinking independently about how they can resolve the most pressing strategic problems. So each style, again, has some advantages in certain situations, but if overused, mm -hmm. can really be problematic. How does one, how does a business leader use these different styles without feeling insincere or more chameleon-like, that people aren't sure what to expect in a given situation? Yeah, so that's a good question about um, whether people expect consistency. People certainly expect authenticity. And within each of these broad leadership styles, there are myriad ways of behaving, right? So one leader's version of retaining decision rights and being directive is going to look different than another's, and it's going to be part of a person's behavioral repertoire. Mm -hmm. What we encourage leaders to do is really locate these styles in their own behavioral repertoire, because even if a leader is not doing a lot of some and a lot of others, mm -hmm. they're doing some of each of them. And the question is, do they need to increase or decrease the extent to which they're emphasizing each of these styles?